What's going on guys? Oddman105 aka the odd one here and welcome to this week's car customization and review video. Today we'll be customizing the OG Bravado Gauntlet Classic which has to be the coolest looking muscle car in the entire game in my opinion. This car as of the making of this video is still on sale for 35% off which for me will be 399000 because I haven't unlocked the trade price yet but that's still an absolute bargain for what you're getting here. This car has a ton of customizations, and although it's not the fastest muscle car in the game, it's still the coolest looking muscle car, in my opinion. So we'll be customizing this one today. Now, we've already purchased it, so let's back out of here. And there it is in all of its glory. This thing even looks good in white. Check that out. So, before we begin... Whether you're OGs to my channel or you're new here, thank all of you very much for your support. I really do appreciate it, and consider subscribing while you're here. It helps out the channel a great deal, and it's absolutely free. Don't forget to click the bell icon for future notifications. Leave a couple of likes while you're here, because they all help out the channel a ton. And hey, while you're here, check me out on Twitter, at Oddman105. Okay, let's begin. Alright, so... The Bravado Gauntlet Classic is designed after the real-life 1970 Dodge Challenger. First-gen Dodge Challenger, I might add. And I think Rockstar nailed the design of this one. It looks absolutely gorgeous. This is an OG car. This is not new. And you better believe that if Rockstar were to release this car today, it'd be well over one and a half mil, maybe two million dollars, which is absurd. But this car is an absolute bargain, even when it's not on sale. So if you guys haven't bought one yet, you need to get one before the end of the event week. So what we're going to do is something clean on this one. Uh, we'll do a muscle car build, but we won't go over the top with liveries or uh, blower scoops and any of that nonsense. We'll keep this one clean as possible. So with that being said, let's uh, get in this thing, kick the tires, lights, fires, take it over to my custom vehicle workshop and get started. And listen to that engine. All right, here we go. Bravado Gauntlet Classic. This is still one of the coolest looking cars in the game, in my opinion. All right, let's do it. Armor, 100%. Brakes, race brakes. And this car has a ton of options. Front, bumper. You got bolt-on, primary, twin wedged. Okay, let's go with the muscled wedge splitter. I want to keep all of the polished and chrome on the car, and you guys will see why later. The rear. Okay, we'll do the same for the rear. We'll do bolt on with overriders. Nice. Chassis. Uh, we will do a roll cage. Let's go inside. Let's take a look here. Roll cage. Uh, we won't do carbon seats. Let's go with the Mark III roll cage. Let's do that. And that's because the roll cage is padded. The padding is linked to the secondary color. Let's go back out. Engine. Full upgrade. Exhaust. Now, the exhaust options freak me out. Check this out. So you've got titanium tip, which looks okay. Anodized. And the boxed. That got me right there. The boxed exhaust. That got me. So I'm thinking we're going to do boxed exhaust on this one. But you've got side pipes and uh, side mitered. So I think what we're going to do, let's go for boxed exhaust on this one. That looks pretty fire right there. Front. Uh, yes, please, we want those vents. And again, I want as much polish on this car as I can possibly get. The grill. So you've got primary uh, section grill. Secondary section, primary performance, secondary, and competition. So let's go with the competition grill on this for the time being. Let's do that. That looks pretty nice. The hood. Like I said, a ton of options. So you've got snorkeled, snorkel carbon, ridgeline, ridgeline carbon, twin intake, which is what I'm thinking about. Okay, you've got carbon twin intake. Deep inset, if we can get a look at it here. Carbon, blower, and of course you've got your blower options here as well. And you've got the bug catcher. So I think, well check that out, exposed engine. So I think what we're going to do is go twin intake right here. 
the horn we'll leave standard. Lights, headlights, let's go Xenon on this one, because I'm going for a resto mod look. We won't do a neon kit for this. Liveries. Now, I'm not going to add a livery, but let's take a look at them anyways. So you've got black bravado. You've got the white 45, if you can see it there. You've got twin black stripes, twin white stripes, which you can't see. You've got this air, va air cab, excuse me. Nokota. Redwood Classic. Hot Shots. And Rich Rocket. And of course, you've got the Patriot livery. I think, yeah, we're not going to do a livery for this one. Lost theft we have. Plates, and you guys already know what it is. Black and yellow, baby. Rear fender. Okay, you've got vents and twin vents. Uh, we'll go with a single vent for this. Respray, primary. You know what? Let's do something that we haven't done in a very long time. Let's blacken this thing out. Let's go matte and let's put black on it. Let's do that. You guys see those chrome bits popping out like that? That's what I'm talking about right there. Okay, we're not going to glitch a pearlescent on this or anything like that, so we'll ignore that. Secondary, we'll match with the primary. And let's see... Trim color. So because this is a resto mod look, let's lighten up the interior. Let's go, you know what, let's do red. Let's do it. Nice. I like it. I like it. Okay, so the roof. Okay, so we've got sun strip. Secondary sun strip. Uh, we're not going to do louvers on this. I mean, look at that. That's just ridiculous. Look at the size of those louvers. <laughs> so we're not going to do louvers on this. Okay. You've got vinyl roof, which, no, we're not going to do that. And those are the roof options. So, uh, I guess we can do a sun strip. Sure, why not? Skirts. Okay, custom, primary, secondary, ridged. Okay, I think we'll go primary ridged on this one. Spoiler. And you know we got to put a classic ducktail on this. So let's do that. But let's take a look at the rest of the options. So you've got inset ducktail, low level spoiler, which looks okay. You've got primary low level, secondary low level, bolted uh, dovetail, which that's for a drag build. And you've got primary super and secondary super. So we'll stick with what we've got. I like it. Suspension. You can slam this thing, but let's go street suspension on this one. Transmission. Full upgrade. Turbo. Full upgrade. Wheels, wheel type, let's go muscle, and stock. So initially I was looking at the Dukes, but I said those are a little too small for this build. And the Kraka kind of looks like that's close to what I want. Especially when you paint those all black. But then I saw, where are they? These. The Drag SPL or Drag Specials. So I'm thinking about going with these right here. Let's do that. Because we have steelies for the factory wheels, I want to do something different, so we'll do those. Wheel color, black and about, look at that. Look at that. That's pretty fire, I like that. Tires, tire design, yes please. It's starting to come together, I love it. Enhancements, bulletproof. Smoke, let's go black tire smoke. Windows, blacken them out. And look at that. Look at it. That's pretty sick. Okay, so that's pretty much it. When the sun comes out, we'll test drive this thing. But for now, let's park it. That's what I'm talking about right there. Okay, guys, and we're back. And check it out. Beautiful. 
I need to use flat black more often. This thing looks absolutely gorgeous. And I didn't realize this at the time, but apparently the grill choice uh, completely removes the headlights. I kind of like that. That's pretty nice. Okay, let's send it. Look at that exhaust. That is tight. Okay. It's decently fast. It's not slow. Again, it's not the fastest muscle car. Handles pretty well for a muscle car. You know, once this thing picks up speed, it gets going. This is nice. First person. Oh. A little squiggly. This thing's a lot of fun to drive. I like this. <laughs> Brakes. It brakes well. Wow, okay. So we've got pretty decent handling for a muscle car. It brakes well. It's got decent acceleration. Again, not the fastest muscle car, but this is not a slow vehicle. This thing is nice. You guys need to get this thing while you can. You still have a couple of hours while it's on sale. Okay, let's take a really quick look at the interior. So check out that engine model. Not bad. It could be better, but this is an OG car by the way, so pretty good. Pretty good job on that. You've got the interior, which is the standard muscle car interior. At least they got the floor mats right. I like it, and I think the red accents the black really nice. There's a trunk rendering. Not bad. Overall, I'm happy with this. This car is an absolute beast. I love it. Okay guys, and we're back. And all I have to say is that the Bravado Gauntlet Classic in all black is the whole show. This car is nothing but the business right here. I hope you guys got yours. This car is freaking phenomenal. It's not the fastest muscle car, but this is the coolest muscle car in the game, in my opinion. I love it. And it was an absolute steal when it was on sale. So performance, it's got pretty decent performance what it is. It's not the fastest, but it doesn't have to be. This car looks phenomenal. That all black with the red accents interior, very nice indeed. So you know what? This stays in my collection. It's not going anywhere. And again, I hope you guys got yours when it was on sale because it's absolutely worth it. And with that being said, guys, this video is a wrap. I'm an odd man 105, aka the odd one, coming to you live once again from the LS Car Meet with this week's car customization and review of the Bravado Gauntlet Classic. The whole show, in my opinion. If you guys found this video informative, then you know what to do. Smash that subscriber button, hit that bell icon, leave a like or two, and don't forget to check me out on Twitter at oddman105. And I will see you guys when I see you guys in the next video. Please stay safe and remember, don't just start the fire. Bring the smoke and take care out there.